Hi, I'm Jane M. Mason from Watching Paint Dry, LLC. And in this little mini demo, we're gonna be talking about painting tiny people. And you might ask, why are we painting tiny people? And what I found, which is so interesting, is that the eye can identify people from the tiniest, tiniest gesture. And I can use these little tiny people in paintings to suggest scale or to suggest a place where people are walking, a mood. And so, plus, they're just really fun to do. So as you can see from this little, and I use scraps of paper on this, I use every kind of paper, and paper that's messy and torn, but you can see there's all sorts of tiny people just walking around and doing different activities. Here's another example of tiny people, and here's one maybe walking along a fence. Here's one person who's skiing, this person's reaching up in the air, this woman is bending over, this looks like a goat or something, so maybe it's just a tiny goat. This person's sitting under an umbrella, uh, this person got way blobby, and so I had to lean that person against a wall so it looked like something. But you'll see how much fun it is to do these tiny people, and I think you're going to be surprised. The way we start is to take a small round brush and something that is a good quality brush that'll come to a point. On this project, you can use any paper. You could even use bond paper. This is the only time I will ever tell you to use this. But you can see that this is just paper that's torn out of a notebook. It's pretty heavy paper, but it's not a particularly good quality paper. It's a drawing type of paper. This, as I said, was a scrap from something. And this is my arches, a pad, and I'll show you this arches pad. It comes with the papers glued at the side just for convenience, but you would not have to use a paper of this quality. You can pretty much use everything. You want to have a, you can use whatever color you like too. I kind of make, for this demo so you can see it easy, this is kind of a green teal gray kind of a color, and I hope you can see it pretty well. I want it pretty wet, so the wetness will be almost like, I guess I will say, skim milk, that kind of consistency. It's pretty wet. And what you do to practice is you just start pouncing your brush on your page. Now you think, well, what, what, what is that doing? And then we can go back and we can say, well, let's see, this one looks like someone who is walking. Now, today, for some reason, most of my pounces came out very similar. I'll have to make a few other. Oh, here we go. This one, this whoosh. If I just put a dot here, all of a sudden this looks like a woman in a skirt that's fighting the wind. Let me give her just a little bit of a couple legs down here. Or it could be a bird. Maybe this is a bird. There, we'll make that one into a bird. We'll give it another little bird legs. Okay, there we have bird legs. This one, let me look at, oh, this one's gonna be easy. This one I can just put, the thing about this is the heads are tiny. Do not put big heads on this. And you'll see that these look much more like people if they don't have big heads. Do you see how that really looks like a person? You don't have to worry about feet either. Just put a couple legs on and a little head. Let's see about, let me turn it around for a minute. Let me see about, oh, this one's kind of interesting. I'm going to put a leg here, a leg here, a little head, and then I'm going to have this person, head, two legs, I'm going to have this person kind of reaching down. Maybe they're, maybe they're getting something out of a basket. So I'm going to draw a little basket here that they're getting this out. Actually, it looks like they're putting something into a basket. Okay, this one's a little harder to see because it's pretty tiny. But I'm going to put a little head here. This person seems all bundled up. And then I think I'll put them on long skis. I don't even know if people use long skis anymore, but that's what I'm going to put in here. And then I'll put, and maybe we'll put a ski pole and a ski pole. That person looks like they really got, that one I don't, that one got a crazy proportion. It needs to be longer because the head's bigger. So I'm going to change it. I'm going to make it into, make the body a little bit bigger. Add some heft to the shoulders. Add these legs down here. And actually, they're standing against a counter. They're not skiing at all. So, and what are they carrying? They must be carrying something like carrots. Okay, they're carrying, or they're carrying shoes, I guess. They're standing against a counter. 
okay, standing against a counter, they're carrying flip-flops. And um, so it's really easy to just use your imagination and create these however you want to. So this is a good exercise that's just kind of fun to do. You can use it on any scrap of paper, any color of paint, and um, even when you're doodling, it's just kind of fun to make these teeny little people. So I hope you enjoyed this. I'm Jane M. Mason. Thank you.